Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Right now I want to start the setup of the Yamaha Strat style guitar. I'm going to go ahead and check the check the tuning on this thing to see how uh, she held up overnight. And uh, yeah, it's a little weak, not by much, but Now I did order some roller string trees for this thing, so I have a feeling I'm going to have to put a string tree on the headstock of this. I don't want to, but it's going to have to have one. So let me check the relief in this neck. Now it's in tune. Go ahead and fret it all the way where the body meets the neck. That is like right on 12 thousandths. So next I want to do is set up the action height on this guitar. And how I do that is with the radius gauge. So I already have the high E and the low E adjusted. And when I mean adjusted, I have them brought down pretty damn close to where I want them to be. Um, and I'm going to check them make sure that the pulling of the neck, you know, adding the relief with the string tension on there is going not changed anything from the other day. So I want to see a 564 on the low side. And I could bring that down a little bit more. So I need to get my Allen key out. Probably a half a turn. On both sides of the saddle. And a little bit more. Another half. And that brings me where I want to be. On the high side, I want to see a sixteenth. And I can go down just a little bit. Again, a half a turn. Make sure my saddles are straight. And that's where I want it to be. All right. So instead of measuring each string, what I'm going to do is use a radius gauge that is a 12 that's for this neck. And how I'm going to do this, which I was already asked uh, about, doing this with a different video this is going to be a simple way of doing this without having a lot of issues so first things I want to do is I want to drop down all these guys because right now the centers are pretty high so I'm going to drop this down evenly make sure it's going to be even when I drop them all down And it's also going to change the tuning of it, so. All right, so let me check down the neck to make sure all these saddles are pretty much flat not angled and a couple of these were just a little bit off all right so she's out of tune right now which i'm not worried about that so i'm going to take my radius gauge and i'm going to lay it across the strings and what i want to do is i want to pluck the string And check to see which ones are muted somewhat or buzzing off of the radius gauge. So what I need to do is bring 
bring this middle one, bring this one down some more, do a whole turn on it, see where it lands. So I gotta turn this guy down. Do a half a turn on this one here. So right now I should have a nice arch that's gonna go with the neck. I'm pretty damn close. So all I'm going to do right now is set the tuning of it again and set the intonation on it. She's got to go backwards. All right, so now what I'm going to do is work on this nut a little bit. Get the action high at the first fret where I want it to be. And then I can start over again as far as adjusting everything all over again. And again, like I said, I'm going to get a string tree over here. <coughs> so I want to see an 18 thousandths or a 19 thousandths of relief or not relief but uh, action height it's close that is a 19 that's a 19 and I ain't gotta go very far down Turn it back up again. I want it to buzz on that. Just like that. That one's got to go down.
here. See how my strings fit. I don't want them sunken into the nut, but I do want them sitting in the nut. Oh yeah, couldn't ask for anything better. All right, couldn't ask for anything better than that. Turn her up again. Hopefully none of the strings break. Now intonation might change a little bit. Because it changed the uh, height of the nut and how the height of the string is in the nut. Just in the center of the neck. Yep. She changed. So that's that. Time to check action height again. Make sure I'm still where I want it to be. And bring that up a little bit. Okay, check with my radius gauge. That one can go up a little bit. Check to make sure my saddles are straight. All right, so that part's done. All right, so I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of a trick that uh, makes adjusting your saddles on a strat style guitar a little bit faster. Instead of having to measure each one of them or knowing what the measurement of each one of them should be around about or whatever. Now, between a 
strat style and a standard tunematic bridge there's a big difference all right this is pretty much stationary uh, as far as setting your action height goes and when you do set your action height it raises all of the saddles up or all the saddles down at the same time these not so so what I found that works pretty good is setting your action height for your E to E's, your outer E's, and then lowering all of these saddles down to where they're pretty much close to, you know, whatever you set your action height for your outer E's go. And then taking a your radius gauge, in this case this is a 12, laying it across your strings, and now your high E and your low E should buzz off of your radius gauge and the rest of them should be kind of open straight no buzzing or anything else as you adjust your saddle for whatever string you're adjusting not the outer ones but the inner ones um, you should start getting a buzzing sound the closer that you get to the radius gauge now on a tunamanic you know this is pretty much all set you can't really adjust anything as far as each saddle goes besides the intonation so if you take the 12 and you lay it across which in this case from E to E if I lay it across to where it's kind of blocking the openings where the strings go on the saddles I can tell this is not really this is not a 12 so it's arched but not arched with this so if you take the 12 that is made for your neck laid across Again, outer strings are set to what you prefer for your action height. Lower the inner strings and start plucking the outer two, that your E to E, you should buzz off of the radius gauge. All the ones in between should be open, no buzzing. Adjust your saddles so they start raising up to where they just start buzzing off of the radius gauge. And that's how you get your arch with your neck, plus set the action height at the same time. All right, so we're going to go and do the pickup height now. And go, and go with the base side first. Drop that down a little bit. Drop that one down a little bit. Trouble side. Too much. Go back on the base side because it does change the angle a little bit. Okay, that's gotta go down. That's gotta go down a little bit. All right, so that's done. Now I need to wait for the string trees to show up. I got some roller string trees coming. So that's about it for now. Pretty much most of this thing is done. Besides just polishing it up, getting all the dust off of it from sanding the nut and blowing dust around on the counter. And that'll be it. Later.